What's going on guys? So with everyone in quarantine right now, I've been seeing a lot of people picking up skateboards for the first time. And when you first start skating, it can be pretty difficult to figure out what tricks to try first, like which direction to go in. So I decided to make this video of five easy skate tricks. I feel like these are the basic fundamental tricks. Like there's other ones that might be a little easier to learn, but these to me are like the five core skate tricks that you should learn when you first start out. Okay, so the first trick on our list is gonna be a manual. Now to me, this is the perfect trick to learn when you're first starting out. It just will help build your comfort and you can just, you know, push around town, push around parking lots and just keep manualing everywhere you go and eventually you're just gonna get good at the trick and just build up your comfort on the board. So for foot positioning, there's a couple different ways you could do it. The front foot usually is just right under the bolts or right on the bolts and the back foot is where it changes. You can either be on the ball of your toes, you know, kind of just standing on your toes back toes or you can have a flat foot. I usually like to manual flat footed but just depends you know if I'm doing a combo trick just depends how I land in it but when I first started I believe I kept my foot flat. So one tip I like to give for manuals is to practice across parking spaces. It's a good way to measure your distance and you can keep kind of pushing it farther and farther and it's hard to get better at something if you're not measuring your progression. And at first when you're trying the manual, a lot of the times you're either gonna go too far back and skid your tail, or you're gonna fall forward. So it's gonna take a little bit of time to just get that balance down. You know, there's like a, a certain center you gotta find, but I like to keep my back leg straight and almost my body too, and just kind of keep it frozen in one spot. And then kind of just use my, my front leg or maybe dip my shoulder forward or backwards just a little bit, but that's something you're gonna feel out over time. And as you get more board control, you know, comfort, it'll become a lot easier. All right guys, next up is trick number two, the ollie. So this is one of the biggest hurdles to overcome in skateboarding. It's where you're really figuring out like what skateboarding is, like popping the tail, jumping in the air, having the board come up with you. You know, it's a hard thing to figure out at first. You know, a lot of what skateboarding is is muscle memory and you most likely have not used any of these muscles before. So it might take a little while to break in and start feeling more comfortable. Okay, so when I set my feet up for an ollie, I like to keep my front foot like right in the middle of the board, maybe slightly towards the nose. And then my back foot, I keep directly in the center of the tail. So the next step I would take is to think of like a manual, you know, where you're just pressing the tail a little bit and then kind of do a slight hop, you know, don't snap the tail down or anything, just kind of press like you would for a manual and lift up a little bit. You know, so you won't be getting your back wheels off the ground, but you'll be starting to feel out the motion of what it is to ollie. So once you feel comfortable with that, the next step is to get the tail to smack on the ground, right? So you're gonna bend down just like you would if you were jumping then on your way up, you're gonna jump off your toes and try to get that tail to hit the ground. Then once you're able to get the tail to hit the ground, the next step, it might be the hardest step, is to learn how to slide your foot sideways and towards the nose. And that's gonna be the thing that levels out the board when you're out here, right? Because otherwise, if you're just hitting the tail, it stays like that. So a lot of times in the beginning, it'll feel like you're not getting off the ground. And then once you're able to slide this foot up and sideways, Bring it forward, that's what's gonna level it out for you. Okay, next up is trick number three, the shove it. So most likely this will be the first trick where you're actually rotating the board or doing something with the board underneath your feet. So one of the first things I tell people when they're trying to shove it is to hold on to some sort of railing or bar, something where you're not gonna slip out because there's a big fear of when you land back on your board, you're gonna slip out. So this kind of takes some of that fear away and lets you get down getting the rotation. And another useful tip is to think about it like a kick turn. A lot of times when I give people this tip, it's the thing that helps them land it. And it's usually because they're trying to pop it and think about it like it's a trick, like it's a shove it, you know, you gotta pop it. And when you think about it like a kick turn, kind of just turning your body and then just kind of doing a little bit of a hop in the middle of a kick turn and then jumping back on the board. And that kind of helps them keep the board underneath them and land the trick. So hopefully that works for you guys. Okay, for trick number four, we have the front side 180. Okay, so the front side 180 has the same basic principles as an ollie. So you're gonna pop the tail down and slide your front foot up. The only difference is you're gonna keep your back foot in the corner of the tail. So by putting your foot over here in the corner, it makes it a lot easier to scoop the tail, right? And that's what's gonna give you that front side 180 motion. Also with this trick, I like to hang my toes, my front foot toes off the side of the board. It kinda helps for me just kinda hanging them off the edge, give it a little, extra grip when I'm whipping it around, but 
you know, whatever feels comfortable for you. Now, the hardest part of this trick is probably going to be rolling away just because you're going to be landing backwards. So, you know, you might slip out a little bit. Also, it might be hard to get that full 180 when you first start learning it. So you're just gonna have to practice swinging your shoulders and then just keep trying to rotate it until you get the full 180. Okay, and last up we have trick number five, the kick flip. Okay, so the first thing you wanna focus on is foot positioning. And I like to keep my back foot in the center of the tail and my front foot right in the middle of the board. And I just like to turn it like a 45 degree angle, point it sideways right towards the nose. Now this is different with everyone. It's something you're gonna have to figure out yourself and kinda see what works for you. When I first started, I'd keep my front foot really low, right? And that's how I would have to flip the board. Now I keep it right under the bolt. So it really is personal preference, but the general rule of thumb is the lower you keep it, the faster it'll flick. So if you're having trouble getting the rotation down, maybe try moving it down. That'll help it flip a little faster. Okay, so just like the ollie, you're gonna slide your front foot up forward. You're gonna have to roll your ankle. You know, that's how you get it to level out. Then you, that's where the flick is gonna come in. And that's something you're really gonna have to practice to learn how to get that flick down. It's gonna feel weird trying to flick down and out and then land back on the board. But something I used to do was I would try to land on the picture. That way I wouldn't have to get the full rotation and I wouldn't be scared of kind of slipping out. Okay, and the most important thing to remember with the kick flip is just gotta be patient because this trick could take hours, days, weeks to get down and just get used to the motion, break in those new muscles. So just be patient, put in your hours and eventually you'll land it. All right, hope this video is helpful and I'll see you guys soon.